Hi, in this problem we're going to factor, we have x cubed plus x squared minus y cubed minus y squared. So solution. So because we have four terms, we're going to try to use what's called factor by grouping. So if we were to pull out uh, an x squared here from these two terms, we would get x plus one. And if you pull out a negative y squared from these two terms, you would get y plus one. That's not a common factor, so instead, Maybe let's group the cubed terms and then the squared terms and see if we can do something. We have x cubed minus y cubed. Group these and then plus x squared minus y squared. We're just grouping this and this and this and this. Okay, so now we can use some formulas. There's a formula for the difference of cubes it's x minus y and then it's x squared plus xy plus y squared so it's a formula I have it memorized so all of this is equal to this basically you keep the sign and then you switch the sign and it's always plus here and then this is the difference of squares this is another formula so it's x minus y kind of a cool problem x plus y all right, and so now we can actually pull out uh, an x minus y. This will be x minus y. And I'm gonna use a parentheses here. So x minus y times what is gonna give us this? Well, all of this. So this will be x squared plus xy plus y squared. And then x minus y times what is going to give us all this? Well, just x plus y. Wow, no, um, no common factors. I thought maybe, you know, maybe we can combine some stuff. But no, that's it. So this would be the answer. Kind of an interesting problem. Good luck.